Hi Connor, thank you for inviting me to Deja Vu today. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for being here. So, where did the idea of Deja Vu come from? Um, so, I've always been super passionate about food and drink and I was lucky enough to grow up in Spain where obviously food and drink's a massive vibe out there. Um, started up cooking for a restaurant when I was 16, 16, 17. Um, I'm 29 now, so obviously fast forward 10 years or so. The idea has always been to try and open up a quirky, unique venue that serves amazing food and drink that people can unwind with after a hard day's work, you know, coming in with friends, family, um, just having a good time. And I've always known, I'm pretty lucky, I've always known kind of from a young age what I wanted to do. So I feel very lucky to be able to be in that situation. Um, and if I can create a product that people can enjoy as much as I do while sitting with friends and family and having a good time, then yeah, we're kind of like, why not really? So, What's the vision for the brand? Um, so obviously for the moment, we are settled in Herefordshire. So we've got a cocktail bar and restaurant here. Um, we are definitely looking for expansion eventually into other cities. We probably will go to other cities on a smaller scale. So obviously the places like Manchester, London and Liverpool are quite oversaturated with niche cocktail bars. So it just seems illogical to go to somewhere that's already overpopulated and overcrowded with that type of demographic. So definitely going to like smaller cities that require a niche or a unique premises to be able to get our vision across more. We've also got a load of other um, projects in the pipeline as well that we will be sharing in the next year or so that has been put on hold because of the pandemic and what's happened in the past two years. But yeah, there's, I, see, I see Deja Vu as this massive entity that we can explore into different avenues. You know, what's, what's going to stop us eventually from opening up our own distillery and making our own gin and vodka? You know, we can open up different types of restaurant. We can do a clothing brand. There's, there's so much that this brand can encompass. Um, and it's really exciting to see where it plans out in the future. So, yeah, I, it's it's an exciting time, and hopefully we'll we'll we'll, we'll be able to share more once we have the next idea of where, where we're going. What value can the viewers expect from the channel? Um, we've got loads of exciting stuff planned. Uh, we definitely want to focus on tutorials for making cocktails at home. It's definitely a frequent question we get asked and DM'd a lot in our, you know, from Instagram and social media. Why not give back to the community that have been supporting us for the past four or five years since we've been operating and allow them to make their favorite cocktails at home? Um, we've also got some like, really wacky ideas penciled in and that we will be sharing with you later on, hopefully as the channel grows. Um, so yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. Um, but yeah, um, we, just want to, we just want to have a good time, create amazing cocktails um, and really go into in depth on how you can create those at home as well. So you can show them off to your friends, family, you know, you're having a house party or a get together, a nice, a nice bougie dinner. Um, you'll be able to make some amazing, amazing cocktails for your family as well. How has the pandemic impacted you as a business? I think it's impacted us in both good and bad ways. So obviously opening up a hospitality venue is hard enough as it is. There's so much like, you wouldn't even think about that needs doing. Um, but opening up during a, a pandemic as you know, what we've just been through, is, it was, was extremely difficult. I can understand why so many businesses go or give up you know, two or three years in. But it's, just, it is, it's been the hardest thing I've ever done. But on top of that, it's also been the most rewarding, satisfying journey of my life. People have come out of their home during these uncertainty, uncertain times and you know, wanted, wanted almost escape from reality and we've been able to provide that through our products and our uniqueness and the exciting theatrical cocktails that we offer. It's, it's really quite touching that people want to spend that much time with us um, and yeah, that's again why we want to create these YouTube videos is to almost give back the, the knowledge on, on, on how, to, how to create these amazing cocktails so you can drink them at home, you can drink them with your friends but yeah, going back to your question even more, it's um, it has been it has been hard. It's been very difficult and challenging in, in its own in its own ways. But everyone's gone through the same. And Herefordshire is great. It has a great community. It's got a great food scene, and people love supporting local businesses. So I'm very lucky that I've opened my business in such a great, you know, unique city that we've been able to almost thrive through the pandemic. So yeah, it's been tough, but it's also been very rewarding, very exciting, and I'm looking forward to the next year or two and seeing seeing what happens, seeing what unfolds.
Because you are a cocktail channel for most, I have to ask, what is your favourite cocktail? Uh, so I get asked this question quite a lot and it really does depend on what mood I'm in. But if I had to pick one, just one, I'd, I'd, I'd probably go with an espresso martini. It's just such a well-balanced cocktail from, you know, adding, adding fresh coffee and vodka. It's just, it's just a perfect pick-me-up for an after, after work drinks, just, just what you need. Um, should, we, should we go make one now, do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. I think we should do that. Should we? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go make some drinks now. We're going to make some espresso martinis, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll get to see how to make one in the next video.